with a heavy heart, I'm here to announce that uh, Kenny Rogers has passed away. He was 81 years old. That's right, Kenny Rogers, the famous singer, mostly known by his song, The Gambler. That was his biggest hit of all time. On a warm summer's eve, on a train bound for nowhere, I met up with the gambler. We were both too tired to sleep. So we took turns of staring out the window at the darkness. The boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. So that was the song that made him millions and millions and millions of dollars. That one song, The Gambler. And Kenny Rogers, he is dead at 81 years old. Um, he's been in hospice for a while, which I didn't know. And uh, here's, a, here's a quick uh, little story on him. Kenny Rogers, the appealing, gritty voice between such 70s and 80s pop and country hits as The Gambler, Lady, that's another good one, and Islands in the Stream. I uh, did that one with Dolly Parton, as died at age 81. Rogers passed away peacefully at home with, uh, from natural causes under the care of hospice and surrounded by his family, a representative for the singer told told uh, this person. In defiance of the COVID-19 emergency, the family, um, in difference of the COVID-19 emergency, the family is holding a small private service. Though a public memorial will be held in the future once this uh, virus thing is all over, hopefully soon. The bearded, prematurely gray singer, yeah, he was gray right away, was first and foremost a country star notching 20 solo 45s to the top of the country charts between 1977 and 1987. His 1978 country hit, The Gambler, includes the lyrics, crushed out a cigarette and faded off to sleep, and somewhere in the darkness, The Gambler, he broke even. But in his final words, I found an ace that I could keep. So yeah, that was the last part of that song, which uh, he lived to do. Roger's biggest uh, pop crossover hits were Lady in 1980 and Islands in the Stream, a duet with Dolly Parton from 1983. So Kenny Rogers was born in 1938, born on August 21st, 1938. And he was an American singer, songwriter, actor, movie pro uh, record producer, and entrepreneur. He was a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. So I didn't know that he, um, in the late 1950s, he started this recording career with jazz singer Bobby Doyle. Don't know Bobby Doyle. And joined the, talk, the folk ensemble, the new Christy Minstrels in 1961. Didn't know that either. Um, went on, let's see, let's see, Billboard. Um, his biggest, his first hit, was uh, Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. I remember that. That was 1969. I was there. <laughs> and I do remember that song. Uh, Ruby Don't Take Don't Take Your Love to Town. So that Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town. That was a good song. He did really well with that one. That was on the on the radio forever. It, it played all the time. And um, he and then that band broke up in 1975. He did a, and then he was in a long, successful solo career, of course. Uh, he did some stuff with Lionel Richie. The Gambler was the biggest one. He got an Academy, not an Academy, he got an Grammy Award in 1980 for The Gambler. And um, he made a lot of money on that, uh, on that song. Did won a lot of Grammys. Let's see. I'm just kind of overviewing his uh, career here. He acted in a variety of movies and television shows, most notably the title roles in Kenny Rogers as the Gambler and the McShane series for NBC. In 1982, he did a film called Six Pack. He was co-founder of the restaurant chain. Kenny Rogers Roasters in collaboration with former Kentucky Fried Chicken CEO John Brown Jr. Although the stores closed in the United States, they're still a fixture in Asia. Wow. 
I don't think I ever went in one of those. Did you ever go? Uh, put it in the comments if you ever went to that uh, uh, Kenny Rogers restaurant. Let me know how it was called Kenny Rogers Roasters. Did you ever go to that restaurant? If you did, put it in the comments. Let me know. Also, if you ever met Kenny, Kenny Rogers, what kind of guy was he? Was he a nice guy? Put it in the comments if you did. Appreciate that. Subscribers out there. Uh, he was the fourth. He was born the fourth of eight children in 1938 in Houston, Texas. And his parent looks like his, uh, his mom was Lucille. Oh, Lucille. That's interesting. Picked a, you picked a fine time to leave me, Lucille. Four little hungry children and a crop in the field. I've had some bad times. Been through some sad times. That's a great song. Now that, his mom was named Lucille. I wonder if that he wrote that song about his mom. Born, born in 1910. A nurse's assistant. And his father was born in 1904. A carpenter. So carpenter, huh? Did he sing a song about a carpenter, too? Rogers was said to be of Irish and Native American ancestry. So, he's Irish and Native American. His mom must have been, uh, his mom must have been um, Native American. Early career. His recording career goes back to the 1950s. Uh, teenage rock and roll. Pop, country, uh, let's see. He did a solo hit in 1957 called That Crazy Feeling. Huh, interesting. I'm not sure if I remember that. Did you, uh, have you heard of that? And then he uh, went in the a jazz group, the jazz group, Bobby Doyle 3. Then he uh, he did have, a, that was a Columbia Records uh, contract with that. Disbanded in 1965. Then he was with Mercury Records. Here's that. He did a song called Here's That Rainy Day, but it failed, I guess. He worked as a producer, writer. I don't remember that song. Worked with Mickey Gilly and Eddie Arnold. Wow. 1966, he joined the new Christy Minstrels as a singer and double bass player. Huh, he played the bass. I didn't know that. Let's see. Launched his solo career in 1976. He did. He charted more than 60 top 40. 40 hits. Well, I didn't know that. You know, his biggest one, of course, is uh, The Gambler, Lady, Islands in the Stream. Those are his biggest ones. Um, Let's see. Lucille, 1977. Major hit, reaching number one in the pop charts in 12 uh, countries, selling over 5 million copies. And I'm sure they're after a first, after they pass away, these singers, their the records all take off again. So his, he'll sell even more, and his estate will earn more. Right now, people are rushing out to buy Kenny Rogers albums, and I'm sure his used albums and, and early albums right now on eBay are going to shoot right up. They're going to be expensive. So if you want to buy any Kenny Rogers albums, do it quickly. Get on eBay, buy them now. So, Lucille was his biggest one for sure. Um, the Gambler, Coward of the County, that was another big one. Coward of the County. And then he did Dottie West. He teamed up with Dottie West and did a bunch of uh, um, albums and duets, which I missed on all that, said, you know, in the late 70s. And he did a lot of stuff. Uh, he retired, and looks like he retired in 2015. So he's been retired for about five years. And he's, he was married five times. He was married five times. And had five children. First got married in 1958, divorced in 60. Then he was married in... 60 again and divorced in 63, married again in 64 and divorced in 76, married in 77 and divorced in 93, married the fifth and final time when he married Wanda Miller on June 1st, 1997. They had twin sons together and looks like he was married to her right to the today, right to when he passed away. So he died in Sandy Springs, Georgia. And, um, that's it. So 
Kenny Rogers. Go ahead and put in the comments your favorite Kenny Rogers song. I'm really interested. Um, I think probably, um, you know, The Gambler is probably my favorite song for sure. And again, The Gambler, here it is on a warm summer's eve. On a train bound for nowhere, I met up with The Gambler. We were both too tired to sleep, so we took turns of staring out the window at the darkness. Boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. He said, son, I made a life out of reading people's faces, knowing what the cards were by the way they held their eyes. So if you don't mind me saying, I can see you're out of aces for a taste of your whiskey. I'll give you some advice. So I handed him my bottle, and he drank down my last swallow. Then he bombed a cigarette and asked me for a light. And the night got deathly quiet. And his face lost, his face lost the whole expression. He said, if you're going to play the game, boy, you better learn to play it right. You got to know when to hold them. Got to know when to fold them. Got to know when to walk away. And know when to run. You never count your money. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the dealing's done, every gambler knows the secret to surviving is knowing what to throw away and knowing what to keep. Cause every hand's a winner and every hand's a loser. And the best you can hope for is to die in your sleep. So that's it. I hope he died in his sleep. Bye, Kenny. We're going to miss you. Thanks for all the great hits. Take care, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, share this video out there maybe other people want to know about Kenny and everybody get through this virus thing please and stop hoarding toilet paper we're out in Minnesota <laughs> all right everybody take care